What's up guys, it's the Shire Stalker here and this is my chance to answer the questions that you ask of me also politely and also nicely and also sexually it makes my nipples hard Let's get right down to your questions, okay? Jesse says, Would you rather have a fire-breathing black and rainbow ninja unicorn that can speak 12 different languages or would you go for a pocket-sized bear that has magical powers to turn water into grape soda and fly? Well, Jesse, I don't know if you knew this, but I have a very rare urinary tract condition where that's all I urinate is grape soda. I've also done enough LSD to where I can fly. So I don't think the pocket-sized bear would do it for me. I cannot breathe fire on my own without doing intense amounts of physical damage to myself. So I think I have to go with the ninja unicorn that can breathe fire, bitch. Jason says, if an elephant were to rape a polar bear, what would the offspring be called? Well, that's a very relevant question to me, so I'm, I'm very glad that you would ask something of me of like that of things. Don't question my grammar. Because if that's the only thing you're going to question after looking at me, you have the problem, sir. You know, it's probably Rosie O'Donnell. That would be the proper, proper, uh, yeah, species name to call it. Because as far as we know, she's sterile anyways, and she looks like she could be the combination of an elephant and a polar bear. Dylan asks, if you woke up one morning, head throbbing, hung over like a dirty laundry on a clothesline, very good imagery. And you find yourself at the Justin Bieber concert with a dude wearing lipstick. What would be the first thing you'd say? Well, I can tell you I probably wouldn't say much except a blood curdling scream as I rip heads off on my way to the stage to kill this fag once and for all. <sighs> I just. I don't even want to get into it. That's how mad he makes me. I've said it before. Actually, here's this clip. I've said it before. Watch this. Bieber is a cancer that needs cut from the ball sack of pop culture. That's exactly what I think of Justin Bieber. Beach. Symptoms XOG says, Sigh, um, what happened to your old mask? Actually, funny story. Here, watch this clip quick. The chump's on the wall. The chump's back in the middle of the eight ball. What are we talking about, Adam? Gunshots range out like a bell. Grab a nine, all her shells falling on the concrete real fast. Hey, isn't the Cyrus so talking here? So I jumped here? in my car and slammed on the gas. Adam. And then bumper to bumper, the avenue was packed. I tried to get away, but the jack was jack. And the police were on the scene, you know what I mean? They passed me up, could have all the dope fiends. And if there was a problem, yo, I solve it. Check out the hook while my DJ revolves it. Ice, ice, beam. You saw the black bag that Adam was wearing? Inside that bag was this mask. He decided to take it to Adventureland with him so I couldn't leave. Because he knows I won't go anywhere without my mask on. So he took it with him and uh, it actually got broken. And the original, the original fix, I just made a new one, but I wasn't feeling it. So I just, I took pretty duct tape. Ugh duct tape and I fixed this one. This is actually the original mask and I decided to cut a mouth hole so I could perform <laughs> kind of linguist on the Disney Queen. 007 Fred says, Sai, what song did you sing to the small children in the 13th episode of the Cyrus Stalker? That was Let's Get the Kraken by Deuce. I just figured since it was a very raunchy and inappropriate song and I had some friends over that happened to be underage that I would sing such a song to them. Nikki says, would you like to try some of this rare melon? Fuck your chantelo! Fuck it! It is not a rare melon! Don't try and sell me it for more than it should get with a cantaloupe! It's bullshit! It's a cantaloupe! Kinda, kinda, cantaloupe! You cut! Don't try and lie to me! I don't care if your infomercial's on at 4 o'clock in the morning and you're trying to sell me this rare melon that can cure cancer and AIDS and all that. Well then why don't everybody eat more cantaloupe? Fuck your rare melon! Devin says, how big is your penis, and do you find yourself masturbating to Miley once in a while? Oh, and what's your take on Mi Miley possibly being pregnant? My penis is too big. I don't find myself masturbating to Miley because I don't look for myself doing it. I just know it happens, and it happens more times than it doesn't, if that makes any sense. And if she's pregnant, then I guess I better be looking into a paternity test, shouldn't I? Andrew says, what is your biggest fear and how could I use it against you? My biggest fear would be the death of Miley. I guess if you were to take her hostage, we could have an action-packed movie. You know, as long as I get some royalties. You know.
know, these masks, they don't, they're not cheap. You know. Plus, I need some kind of money for living my life like this in secrecy. But you use it against me, I will come find you. And it won't be pretty. Bradley asks, how would you feel if Manny was the biggest whore in the world? I'm going to assume, Bradley, that you are just insinuating she is. And if that is true, then I'm going to come next door and kill you. Because I know where you sleep. And if she were the biggest whore in the world, that just makes my journey for her even more amazing. Because in the end, I know what I'm going to get. Whether she wants it or not. Aaron says, is the cup half full or half empty? If it's full of chloroform, then in my case it would be half empty. But you didn't hear anything. Daisy Fire one two three says, "Do you regret anything that has happened in your life? Getting caught?" One one eight zero one one eight ask me, Sai, where are you from? Your accent intrigues me." Well, Sarah, I'm actually from Alaska. This is how everybody in Alaska talks. The only reason nobody knows this is because once you go to Alaska, you don't return. Sarah Palin is the only exception. She's just fucking stupid. Taylor asked me, what if Miley died? Then Miss Gomez would have a very, very creepy new friend. <laughs> Watch your back, Bieber. I'm watching hers. And the final question, Elena asked me, what if there was a Cyrus Stucker Stucker? And my answer to that is, I'm watching you, Elena. If that is your real name. But yes. I've answered your questions. So now leave me alone. I'll be back shortly to resume my search. If I can never get out of this fucking basement again. It smells of cat piss and cobwebs. Goodbye everybody. I missed you. I know. I still don't want any fucking cantaloupe.